Fred Dickers, the New York Post State Editor. He's live in Lake George, New York today uh, by way of Skype. And good morning to you. Boy, this hit the Internet last night within moments of the exchange. Uh, I want to take it piece by piece, Fred, as much as I can here. How did this go down? Well, uh, Bill, what happened was a couple of hours earlier, Politico, the national political uh, online uh, news service, a very important one, had moved the story saying Carl Palladino, the Republican candidate for governor here in New York, was alleging that Andrew Cuomo, the attorney general, a Democratic candidate for governor, uh, had or was suggesting that he had a number of paramours, as uh, Palladino put it, when he was married to Kerry Kennedy Cuomo, and that we should be asking about Kerry Kennedy kicking him out of the House when he was married to her. Now, these were allegations that have never before been made public. Nobody had ever heard of it before. Palladino, hours earlier, had said the campaign was going to get a lot nastier. He was threatening to make it nastier. And when Palladino arrived in Lake George at a meeting of the Business Council, a big business group in New York, I was there to ask him about the allegations appearing on Politico so and asking you, you him in particular some, you, you whether he wanted, had any evidence. You wanted some answers on, on that story. Okay, let's move beyond that now because what Palladino folks are saying and we weren't there, but you were, that you egged him on, that, that, that you right. got in his face and you provoked him. Well, that's just not true. Uh, what this video is, and it was shot with a uh, cell phone camera, is it picks up in almost the middle of what was going on. When he first came in, I asked him very nicely, in fact, I have a transcript in front of me, about the allegations he had made, and I said the Cuomo campaign was accusing him in of descending into the gutter by doing this, and I said, do you have any proof of the allegation? And that's when he started taking off on me and on the New York Post over a story that I had nothing to do with that ran in our Sunday edition. Yeah, I think that story, the accusation, we heard Palladino make it. He said the newspaper sent a photographer after his 10-year-old daughter. Uh, is, yeah, is that, is I don't that think the that's case? so, by did the way. Did the Post do that? I mean, you, you could understand how a, how a parent could be upset about that, couldn't you? Well, let me explain what happened here. Palladino, when he first announced for governor, announced something that no one knew. He said he had had a child out of uh, wedlock about 10 years ago, that he was on good terms with the mother of the child, and she was living in Buffalo, and he remains close with them. What we did on Sunday is do a story about the mother of the child, her life, which I guess we tried to speak with her. We ran no picture of the child, and we, I don't, I guess we named the child, but he had already named the child, but we didn't do a story about the child. We mm -hmm. did a story about the mother, uh, who um, apparently is on good terms with Carl Palladino. So yeah, I think he, he misrepresented what occurred in our paper and was trying to shift well, the, the, the focus away from his allegations idea, against Cuomo. The allegations that a photographer went to the window of this 10-year-old girl, she was getting ready for a dance lesson, and it, it freaked her out. And it, no well, matter, look, no I don't matter know if that's true or not. I wasn't there. Happened, I'm not familiar upset. with Let it. The question. But I wasn't asking right. him about that. I was asking him about charges made against Cuomo. I understand that, a very but that was the allegation issue. he made back. Freddie, I, I, this is very yeah. important. I just want to nail this down here. Yeah. Because on that tape, they're accusing you of favoring Cuomo throughout this campaign. Yeah. Have you right. written a negative story about Cuomo? Well, let me just challenge the premise. One doesn't judge whether a journalist is biased or not by whether you've written a negative story. I've written fair stories about Palladino and about Cuomo. I've had Palladino on a radio show I host many times. He was happy to come on. So I don't think it's a fair premise. I think he's saying that to try to shift away from the fact that a lot of people think he just smeared Andrew Cuomo. What is your relationship with Palladino? How long have you known each other? You've been covering New York politics for 30 years. You know, he's new to politics in New York. Since he announced, I've had a good relationship with him. I've praised him. He's been on a radio show I host repeatedly. And never until uh, last night have I ever had a problem with him. All right, Fred Dicker from the New York Post. Fred, thank you by way of Skype there. Now we've.